radiocarbon dating confirms my hypothesis. This ship is over 10 million years old. And its vital systems are still operational. Unbelievable. According to the sonar, we are nearing the hazard abyss. Are we still receiving the signal? Are we ever? And we're closing in on the source. Uh, I don't see what's the big deal. Tachyon transmissions? <sighs> it's far too complicated to explain. Faster than light radio waves? What's so complicated? Faster than light? That's impossible. For human science, maybe. <laughs> what are you saying, little green men? I'm not ruling it out. Then why is the signal coming from the ocean floor and not like the planet Vulcan? We've got company. That's Alexander Prolorin's ship. Prolorin? The xenobiologist? Xeno what? Xenobiologist. Conceptual science? The man's a genius. In fact, his work on heuristic algorithms profoundly influenced my development of Nigel. You ripped them off. Have you ever considered a career as a brain in a jar? So what brings him here? Clearly, he detected the same signal we did. We? It was my discovery. They've been down there for three days, far beyond capacity. And you haven't sent a rescue party? Under no circumstances are you to come down after us. Those were Dr. Perloran's exact orders. What's he doing here? How do I know? Whoa. Relax, people. There's no reason to panic. He only looks dangerous. Passing 20,000, 25. The creature's out of range. Heading straight to the bottom of the ocean. I'll bet he thought we were the source of the tachyon signals, and now he's following them down. Tachyons are high-density electromagnetic particles. A living creature can't detect them. Indeed, it is almost as laughable a notion as one breathing atomic fire. Captain, I'd like to borrow your secondary submersible. Negative. Dr. Perloran issued direct orders. Not to us, he didn't. I'm sorry, I cannot authorize. J'insist.
Lord Skipper, we are free of umbilical and styling. Beginning descent. Roger that, Mudiver 2. We will remain here for 72 hours. Beyond that, you're on your own. About that little stunt you pulled back there. I don't care if it was just a flare gun. Uh, always the moral debate. Anyone got a deck of cards? This is gonna be one long fall. How long has it been? Two hours and 35 minutes. Halfway there. Um, guys, this is uh, far enough. Don't you think? Chill out, Randy. I mean, sure, this thing is tiny, but it's made of state-of-the-art acrylic, graphite, titanium alloy plating. That, that's good, right? Absolutely! I mean, the spray from a hairline crack would slice you in half. But we're only a couple miles down, mere hours from the surface. I think we should go home now, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on! Randy! Randy! Listen to my voice. The deeper we go, the safer we are. The safer we are, the calmer you are. Relax. Enjoy the ride. So, charades? How did you do that? What is it, Godzilla? You're the paleontologist, you tell me. It looks like a cryptoclitus, but they died out in the Cretaceous period 65 million years ago. Guess what? It's back. <laughs> position to help. I suspect he'll do just fine without us. And if he should perish? You better hope Cryptoclidae don't like french fries. Sonar's picking up something big. What is that thing? I'm guessing it's the source of Craven's mysterious tachyon signals. Looks like some sort of alien ship. Should we call Scully and Mulder? How are we supposed to dock? Ask a stupid question. No. No welcome wagon? You say that like it's a bad thing. Fascinating. Nigel indicates the air is being subtly readjusted to better meet our needs. Automated? Either that or we are being watched. You mean the aliens might still be down here? for intruding. Dr. Proloran! This is a great honor, sir. You must leave here, immediately. But we came to rescue you. This is a very delicate first contact situation. You're trying to establish contact with those animals back there? Don't be ridiculous. Those are merely guard dogs. 
bred from ancient dinosaurs. Our hosts are evolved far beyond that, and us. They preserve dinosaurs? How long have they been down here? Uh, this ship crashed near the end of the Cretaceous period, 65 million years ago. And they've been stuck down here ever since? They've spent most of that time in stasis, of course, broadcasting an automated distress beacon. The tachyon signal! Human technology had to reach a level advanced enough to detect it. How do you know all this, Doctor? They told me. What do we know about this species' intention towards our world? Monique raises a good question. I'd like to speak to our hosts. Well, I'm afraid I can't allow that. Huh. I thought Penn and Teller were good. Anybody see which controls he used? Hmm. Nigel? you think old yellow hair can find for Lauren? I've got him tracking the tachyon signals. If we locate the source, we just might locate for Lauren too. Did you maybe consider, I don't know, asking? They viewed us with suspicion, unlike your Dr. Perloran. How could you be a party to this? What would you have me do? Our technology is clearly inferior to yours. What could you hope to learn? Simply that your civilization is ready to be assimilated. Your cities, machines, infrastructure will serve my people well. Meet the new boss. Same as the old boss, only with a big shiny head and glowing eyes. Those who cooperate will find the new order satisfying, even stimulating. And those who do not? Monique! We sense you are conflicted, but that you enjoy a great devotion to Prelolan. We now offer you an opportunity to join him, and us. Ready to take your place in history, Dr. Craven? Don't listen to them! Look at stuff! Let us make history together, Dr. Perloran. Craven! The variety of knowledge that you possess will now be extracted. Decision. We're about to create a world without war, disease, pollution. Joining our alien hosts, we'll be able to explore the cosmos, learn from minds so advanced that compared with them, we are but amoebas. What do you want me to do? You can start by downloading the data from that toaster of yours. It must have something we can use. No! Stop.
your friends ruined everything! You think my ancestors crawled out of the primordial ooze just to hand over our planet to a bunch of spacemen? <laughs> Come on, Professor. Escape pods. They automatically accommodate whatever species climbs inside. Well? Where are you going? I'll have to launch it from out here. But how will you escape? No time to argue. Get in! can't make heads or tails of this thing. Speak! Godzilla! Remember me? That's it! Back away! Back away! Oh, nice, Nikki. Someone hasn't lost his touch. That son feel good. Prolorn didn't make it. Hey, he was a brilliant guy. If anybody could have found a way to survive, it'd be him. Well, we better call Hicks, see what he can salvage from down there. No, it is too dangerous. She's right. Humanity will only be safe as long as the aliens and their technology remain at the bottom of the ocean. Thank you. 